So now we have a point shape file and we have a line shape file. And what is still missing in terms of a whole set of features that we can create with a shape file is a polygon shape file. So to create a polygon shape file, let's uh, go here on the layers on the layer menu and create a new uh, shape file layer again. Click again the dot 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 button. Um, this time we're going to call the layer flow areas. So that should look like that. We're going to say here it's a polygon geometry. And then um, we're going to add again some fields. We're going to add one field that is going to be the area type. So the area type here is again a text data shape file. And then we're going to add here something else that we gonna call the Manning's N. So you might already have an idea where that will end up to. So Manning's N is a roughness value that we will um, attribute a decimal number type. So now let's add that field to a list and save it. So let's fill that attribute, uh, that flow area shapefile with some data. So you might already have an idea where that will uh, go to. So on the very first um, uh, set here, we're going to uh, create a um, polygon. So Make sure that flow areas is highlighted in the layers panel. Then toggle editing, uh, enable here add polygon feature. And now just draw here a polygon along the line. So just here, um, make sure that you enable snapping. So by that here, we will be able to snap here to existing features. And that is uh, important later on to make sure that we don't create gaps between polygons. So let's draw here uh, along the uh, channel center. Make sure maybe not to use too many points here because otherwise you will have a lot of work later on. So let's just add like that. And again, use your right mouse button to finalize it. Now um, the area type is the main channel. We give it here a Manning's N of 0 0.028. So what is that in Strickler? Well, you can calculate the Strickler value from that. So then what we also want to do here is we want to avoid here the uh, overlap of polygons. So um, just make sure to avoid overlap on uh, the active layer. And now we can add here uh, more uh, polygon features um, to assign other roughness values to the flat planes. Just in case you make any error here, you may want to save the layer edits already now. So that is now here why uh, we needed a snapping enabled before, because now we can just follow here um, the polygon that we've drawn before. And I hope you didn't make too many points, otherwise you will have a lot of work now. And now you can just follow up that uh, part here. You might already realize here that I followed uh, the blue line that was provided by OpenStreetMap. So that is why I draw a very, very narrow river. If you did a better job and saw already here on the satellite imagery that the river itself is much larger than just the blue line, you will have a much better presentation than what I am doing here now. But it doesn't matter here for that exercise. 
So that here is going to be now our right bank. So we're going to just right click here and call it here our um, flat plane um, RB for a uh, right bank, not for an energy drink. Um, here, because it is the flat plane, that's going to be much rougher. So um, maybe recall what is happening if we are on a flat plane that is rougher. So before we had a Mannings N of 0 0.028. Uh, a rougher Mannings N would then be, for example, 0 0.05. And just recall that if you're using Strickler, it's exactly the other way around. So you need to decrease Strickler to have higher roughness. Then just press OK. Good. So now we have here the uh, right bank flood plane. So the river is flowing from the right to the left. That is why this is the right bank. Then you may just want to press again here, save layer edits, and then add here a left bank still. So just draw another polygon here, following again your um, hopefully better drawn uh, river uh, uh, main channel than my main channel. And now just right click here to finalize it. So this here is going to be flat plane left bank. We can assign it maybe a slightly different Mannings and um, it's a little bit smoother because maybe there are sheep who are eating the green uh, grass from the banks. And now it looks like this. So let's save that, stop editing. And now we've got three polygons. So it's a little bit hard to differentiate now between the three polygons and to get a better a, uh, understanding here or get a better overview. Let's click here again on the properties of the flow areas or just double click on flow areas and the symbology will open. Now we can use here a categorized symbology. As a value here, we can select now either Manning's N or the area type. For categorization, the area type is probably a pretty good idea. Um, symbol, we can use whatever we want. Um, as a color and color ramp, we can use either random colors or um, let's use a spectrum. Uh, and then you just click classify and apply. And now your, um, some, your uh, shape file looks like this. So if you want the main channel to be blue, then just double click here on that symbol and make sure that the fill color is something blue-ish. And just apply that. Now your main channel is blue. So don't forget now to save your project.